fans across the world. It's your boy King. Uh, got a victory lap video for y'all, man. Uh, <laughs> Detroit Lions are now 3-1. They went into Minnesota, took care of business, and uh, beat the Vi Clowns um, in their own shit. So... <laughs> Um, with that being said, first of all, to Bill Harville, you came into my comments, you said the Lions was going to get fucking blown out, you said I didn't know what I was talking about, well, there, there's your there's your proof, um, and just to clear up something about the Bears, yeah, I picked the Bears to win that game, but listen to the video, I said, if the Bears play like they have been playing, you know the Bears team that beat the Steelers, that team, but... I said, you never know with the Bears. Listen, the Bears is not my team, first and foremost, anyway. Really doesn't matter. Um, and obviously, if you watch that game, the Bears beat they fucking self. They came out the gate fucking turning the ball over, just fumbling and just all type of dumb shit. But anyway, on to the fucking winners. Uh, the Lions, man. The Detroit Lions took care of business today, man. Um, had some ups and downs during the game. Um, another thing that I mentioned is week four where you start to see things uh, come together. Well, unfortunately, we did see something come together, but we seen something take a step back. And that was the offensive line. Pass protection, yeah, they took a step back, obviously because they had to give Greg Robertson help all day. Um, and for a side note, listen, we only got two more games before uh, Taylor Decker comes back. So they say he's ready for midseason the way that he's progressing. So um, we'll get Taylor Decker back. He'll he'll be back, man. We'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? We 3-1. We should be 4-0, but we 3-1. So, um, but at the same time, our run blocking was there. Um, the, the emergence of fails was a plus. Uh, it was good to see Roberts get in there too, man. I want to see more of him. Uh, but Amir Abdullah was the motherfucking man today. Every day was all the talk about Dalvin Cook supposed to run all over our defense and this, this, and that. He's uh, he was supposed to be unstoppable. I didn't see it. Um, he had a few decent runs, decent. But Amir Abdullah won that battle. Uh, even before the injury, he was winning that battle to me. Um, Amir Abdullah, I think a, sh a couple of yards short of 100 yards. You know, everybody like to get the feel good numbers. I could care less. Um, I don't know how to round up. <laughs> so, yeah, he got his 100 yard game according to me. But, um, yeah, Amir Abdullah was doing his thing. Five yards of carry, man. Um, and the offensive line figured out how to give him some block against a top tier fucking defense, man. The Vikings defense is ridiculously nasty when it comes to their front four. And, uh, of course, you got Rhodes back there, but Rhodes makes some bonehead plays a lot of times. That's one thing, you know, just like just like last season when we beat them with all the injuries we had. Rhodes makes some, some bonehead-ass plays sometimes. Um, but that front four is vicious. They're nasty. Um, the Vikings, you that's, that's encouraging for y'all. Y'all need to... You know, you get Teddy Bridgewater back after he come off the PUP. So, you know, uh, hopefully Dalvin Cook is not uh, severely injured. Um, I don't want to face no crippled team the next time we play our cats in our house. I like to play teams at full force. Uh, hopefully we can get a full force, man, because left and right people was going out with knick-knack injuries. TJ Lang, man. Haloti not a had to get looked at. I mean, man. You know, every time you looked up, it was some lying down on the field. Um, but one thing that you Detroit Lions fans need to realize is that your team has a special ability. And that special ability is to outlast people. They have endurance. Um, you know, when a lot of teams seem to tone it down some, the Lions seem to pick it up, especially the defense. Uh, of, course, of course, you know who come through at the end of the day. To win the game. Uh, the veteran has been doing it for us for years now. Glover Quinn. You know, Glover Quinn. Had he played and knocked that ball out. Um, of the receiver's hand, man. Also, um, you know, had he played for... Um, man, I, I think it was Killebrew. Was it Killebrew? I can't quite remember who it was that hit Dalvin Cook. Once his knee uh, buckled. But he put his head right on the football. Another had he played for the line. 
the Lions continue to make teams turn the ball over, man. And create turnovers is, is a thing for the Lions. I'm not going to count the fumble when they just dropped the damn shit on the ground. I don't know what the fuck. You know, they was trying to run that trick play for it. That was idiotic. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the Vikings, Vikings have a hell of a defense, man. Hands down. Uh, hats off to y'all defense, man. But I don't know why people thought I was bullshitting when I said the Lions had one of the best defenses in the fucking league. I meant it. And another team goes down to witness it. We held your explosive offense to seven fucking points today. Seven. With Diggs and his idiotic fucking celebrations, we held them to seven points today. Your defense, again, listen to my words. They're the real fucking deal. We're not even at full strength. Hats off to, to, uh, to hear Whitehead for doing this thing today. And also, uh, Belor did his thing today. A lot of people got down on him. He did his thing today in the middle, man. Uh, taking, uh, you know, reps for, for Jared Davis. So, uh, Killer Brew continues to improve. Um, and the thing is, as far as the penalties, man, um, I know a lot of Vikings fans going to cry about that. One thing you got to understand that this is a division game. And uh, besides the, the referee staff that they had out there is the less, you know, call referee staff that they have out there. This is a division game. They're not going to call any and everything, period. They're going to let them play. They're going to let them be handsy. You already know we've been here a million times, man. So uh, miss me with that. But a few plays, yeah, y'all did deserve to get. I'm not going to sit up here and just, you know, throw it to the side. Yeah, y'all should have got a few plays. But it wasn't to me, it wasn't the deciding factor of the game. The deciding factor of the game was defense. Um on both ends, man. They was able to sack, sack Stafford seven times. Y'all need to be proud of that, man. Uh, because Stafford, one thing he's not doing, he's not going to do. Um, one thing he's not going to do is just, you know, get in the game, just throw picks all over the place. You're going to have to sack Stafford, man. That's how you, you get, you're going to stop Stafford. Stafford, you know, yeah, a few plays could have been picked, but Stafford put him in the right spots where, um, uh, uh even if the ball was picked, would have been out of bounds, you know, things like that, man. Um, but, yeah, Matthew Stafford today, I felt like, you know, did just enough to win this football game. Once again, um, the Lions got down, uh, you know, they was down a score. It was down four after you guys uh, scored that touchdown. And Matthew Stafford, once again, Finds a way to lock in and do just enough to win a football game. If we can have a bad game, because today, 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 technically, besides um, Amir Adula and and fails, today we had a bad we had a bad game. The defense had a good game, of course. I'm talking about on the offense. The offense, when the Lions' offense have a bad game, um, as far as you know, uh, a quarterback getting sacked like that, man, they still come out with a victory. That's a plus. Because, you know, once they, they do play a game when they're on fire, they're just that much more dangerous to me. So, um, like I said, I don't want to, you know, talk too long, man. I'm, a, I'm getting ready to... It looked like Dallas... Uh, yeah, it looked like Dallas about to lose this game. Um, I think the Patriots lost, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a lot of surprising wins today, man. But good for the Lions to go ahead and get a division division win. Um, man, I can't wait to play the Packers, man. I feel like the Packers have yet to play a real team. If you look at their schedule, it's ridiculously easy to me, man. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to them cats, man. But on to the next one, man. Um, I'll definitely be giving y'all my prediction video uh, sometime this week. Probably early this week. Maybe as early as tomorrow. Uh, but definitely wanted to... Give my insight on the game, man. And uh, also wanted to give props to the Vikings. You know what I'm saying? The, the Vikings fan base out there, man. Y'all y'all got a solid fucking defense. Beautiful defense, man. Um, and, you know, the, the NFC North is starting to become one of the best divisions of football. Minus the Care Bears. They just keep them fucking embarrassing every goddamn body. But, uh, yeah, the NFC North is really is starting to get tough, man. Like I said, you get your quarterback back soon, so we'll see what happens, man. Uh, 
Until next time. Um, with that being said, it's your boy King, man. Just note that everything that I say is my opinion. It, my predictions is my opinion. I'm not saying that I'm right all the time. I'm not arrogant. So, um, with that being said, shout out to the DVE family, man. Everybody out there. Uh, Hitman, Dante, Man Beast, Ace Taker, Craig, uh, 313 JMO, Hammer Down, LB. Man, it's so many of us, you know what I'm saying? I just want to give a shout out to y'all fellas. Y'all follow along with me uh, when I'm watching the game uh, through Twitter. So, shout out to you fellas, man. I'll catch you guys later. It's your boy King. I'm out of here.